Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. So it's Thursday morning. The sun is shining again. There's a little bit of a cold breeze blowing over the top so there's a bit of a chill when the wind blows but apart from that the sun's still shining rather lovely today um, it's my shopping day today so it was mum and dad's yesterday our shopping day today so I'm going um, to our favorite supermarket see whether or not I can get all our needs Mr Bentley is doing rather well all of his, his grazes and his cuts and bruises all seem to be healing nicely they've all dried up lovely um, his spirits have picked up a little bit and um, we did have a bit of a play in the garden yesterday um, so it was up for that he wasn't feeling too sorry for himself still have plenty of time for chasing mr. Teddy around the garden so that was good so yes so he seems to be on the mend so I'm just hoping that because I've set off a little bit later this morning to go to the supermarket that the queue isn't going to be too large it wasn't very big at mum's when I did mum shopping yesterday um, but who knows what it's gonna be like today it could be completely different every day is different so we've had a few emails and questions um, about shipping to well predominantly to the states but I would have thought just like international and um, for this conversation um, shipping is still taking longer um, normally say shipping a parcel to the states normally takes a week to ten days at the best of time under normal non lockdown situations but because of the coronavirus um, and skeleton staffs and all that kind of stuff um, and people being off and they're not being as many people at work across the world so it's not just the UK it is happening in the States regardless of whether or not you're a denier or not um, it you know it does affect the the time that parcels take to get to where they should be and I'm sure most reasonable people understand that once a parcel goes into the the system goes into the postal system it's beyond our control we you know once it goes into the post box that's it <laughs> I can't hurry it up I can't make it go any faster um, so if it takes a little bit longer it takes a little bit longer that's just the way that's the new reality the new life the new um, that's how long it takes now. Oh, it's turning into a scorcher. Doors to manual. Taxi to runway. Oh. Well, that was fairly painless. Didn't have to queue for very long, it was only about five minutes. Did all the shopping, managed to get most, um, all but one. It was there, but I refused to pay for it because it was too expensive. Um, yeah, they just hiked the price up of certain items. And I'm not stupid enough to pay it um, so yeah all the way around no problems with that and then straight to a checkout didn't have to wait for a checkout at all no queuing for that so it's now 11 o'clock and it's probably only taken me from start to finish about 50 minutes which is a blessing Oh. <laughs> 
<coughs> Excuse me. So over the last few days, I've been having horrible sinus problems, really kind of blocked um, pressure up here, which has um, had a knock-on effect that I've, this eye <laughs> has been a little bit bloodshot um, and quite kind of difficult to focus with this one. So it's one of those things, it's like a knock-on effect, this, this whole area. <laughs> So I've got some um, some sinus relief tablets, so I'm going to give those a go and see what happens, see if it kind of relieves it any. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> what are you seeing? What is it? I've seen something or I spotted, smelt something. Interesting smells. Come on, monkey! Ready? <laughs> Look at you, wee little bandage, John. Eh? Yeah. Bless him. And you with your baby Yoda t shirt. <laughs> I loved it when they said on the thing, do the hand thing, do the hand thing, and he went. <laughs> <coughs> So, we've had a break in the good weather and it's been rather windy and rather wet and horrible. So, um, rather than being able to sit out and have the doors and the windows and that kind of stuff open, we've kind of been stuck indoors for a couple of bit, well, for a day or so anyway. Um, so, I've taken the opportunity of sitting down and filming the last two pages in my volume of The Dolls. So I have finally, there's one, <laughs> there's the other, um, I'm not going to show you them, I'm going to be really really mean, um, because I filmed both of the projects, they're all edited, they're all ready to go, and I'll be releasing them in the next few days. So what that means is, is that book now is complete, so I'll also be able to do a flip through, a complete full flip through of the book um, 17 pages I ended up having in that so um, which ain't bad going so now I've got to try and find a second volume because I've still got loads of the paper dolls left the problem is um, and this is what happened with this book is that because this was a gummed or glued what are they called? Perfect bound. Perfect bound. Perfect yeah. bound, where it's glued rather than stitched. So Ian's just working away on his computer as well. Um, is that sometimes with the glued spines, when you're tearing the pages out to make it thinner so that you can add to it, they drop to bits. They do. <laughs> there you go. Um, and that's from a person who doesn't do any journaling. Um, so what I want to try and do is try and find a an old hardback book that's actually been stitched because when you remove the pages from that the chances are that it's not going to fall to pieces simple as that um, but unfortunately because of the lockdown because of the quarantine and the, the new reality that we find ourselves living in is that none of the charity shops or goodwill shops or second-hand shops are open and I've gone through every single hardback book in the house. <laughs> Ian asked me what I was doing the other day. I was like, 
working my way through all the books, um, trying to find one that had been stitched but none of them had. So, failing that, if I can't get one fairly soon, what I may have to do is I may have to make one. Oh. Yeah. Um, I've got, I think I've got enough watercolour mixed media cardstock in which to do it, but I'm going to have to re really, th well, I'm going to have to plan it meticulously to make sure that I have enough space for the signatures because um, I'm only going to be able to do maybe two pages per signature. I don't know, like I said, I'll have to plan it. Watch this space. Okay, so talk about a spoilt dog, okay? Mr. Bench is waiting for a sausage. It's too hot. So look what Grandad's doing. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know who's worse, honestly. I know we spoil them, but that's just ridiculous. Look Any, at his nose. Anything for that little doggy. <laughs> <laughs> that is water, mate, don't you? Yeah. Look, he's frozen. I know. Oh, look. He's with waiting. With his bandages. I know, with his bandages. Look at that. Eh? <laughs> what, are they set, what are they doing? Eh? I know. He's sat there looking as if saying, What's he doing with <laughs> <laughs> Ian's just taken Mr. Bentley out for his WALK. So I thought I'd just come downstairs to. Put some fresh food out for Mr. Bentley for when he gets back, only to find that Ian's been baking while I've been upstairs creating my art journal page. Look what he's been making. Full tray of gooey salted caramel brownies. Just look at those. I can feel the weight going on just looking at them. To be listening to the washing machine do we so it's um tuesday and the government have announced further easings of lockdown um here in the uk um, which means that some more of the stores that have been closed are now able to reopen again as of next week um, so more stores open but it means that uh, the social distancing rules that kind of stuff have still got to be adhered to so more queues that's all it really means so as long as the stores are open um then they've got to be safe so it just means that more stores more queues more choice i suppose so there is a silver lining to all this but it's just a gradual gradual reopening of the country so like i said it's definitely good news we're going in the right direction the amount of cases and the amount of deaths is rapidly decreasing now so fingers crossed within the next month we may just be back to whatever is classed as the new normal so shopping day again now i've phoned mum and dad this morning and got their shopping list um not a very long one so this shouldn't really take that long hopefully as well the queues will be um, shorter again which seems to be the trend for the last two or three times I've been so that's good let's just hope the weather holds out 10% chance of rain today it said although from where since there's no clouds in the sky at the moment who can tell that center stage no cues at all can't be bad
So that's all the shopping dropped off at Mum and Dad's. <clears throat> because I'm a bit early, because there was no queues or anything, I'm going to go do hours now. That way I don't have to do it tomorrow. Which will make a nice change. Gives me a bit of a day off, if there is such a thing. Don't be all camera shy. Come on. Bailey booze. What a good boy. Oh. <laughs> this is this is the definite stare of I'm not playing along. I don't want to know. Look at that. So in case any of you were wondering how he's doing, as you can see, he's still got a little bandage on the top of his leg and a little bandage on the bottom of that just above his paw but he's doing all right the bruising on his chest has gone down the graze that he had on his chest oh, now we're starting to look um the graze on his chest has most of the scabs have done and fallen off haven't they but he's not impressed still because he's still got to wear a couple of bandages for a couple more days until those other grazes have healed properly but apart from that you're doing all right aren't you kiddo so no comments <laughs> I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you. 